Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Catching Fish. Today we are on a harvest mission. Hopefully this isn't too bouncy. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you sick. Harvest mission, yes. You guys see me, I let go a million panfish. Not a million, that's a big exaggeration. But pretty much all my panfish, I do keep some. I actually get people that unsubscribe because I throw back my fish. How silly is that? Why do you go fishing if you're just doing it to throw them back? Mm. Because it's fun. It's fun getting out here, feeling that bite, setting the hook, reeling up that big crappie or that big bluegill or the big walleye or pterodactyl or whatever you're catching, and then let that big guy go and catch, you know, you maybe catch another dude. Maybe somebody else can catch it. If you don't want to let it go, that's fine. I got no quarries with that. But I let most of mine go. But today, we're going to try to catch and keep a limit of crappies. Maybe a bluegill. Um, Christmas Eve, I believe. Christmas Day is tomorrow. So, I'm gonna bring home some fish for the fam to eat. Anyway, I'm out on a lake today. I heard there's been a, a bite out here. I haven't been out here yet this year. I usually, I don't know, I just haven't been out here yet this year, I guess. But anyway, I'm out here now. I'm fishing the edge of a small basin, you could say. It's, I think, 18 to 23 feet. Um, I'm gonna just drill a bunch of holes until I can find some fish, hopefully. And then we're gonna start slaying. So let's do that. All right, you guys. My equipment today, got my 36 inch tuned up custom rod, precision noodle. <clears throat> I got it taped, I got this reel taped to the uh, handle here. I did have rings on them, the, the, the cold snap bands, but the fact is, they after time, they start to leave a groove in the cork, and it's not very nice. And when it gets cold, <clears throat> those bands, when it's really cold, I'm talking like 20 below zero, those bands, they don't stretch. If you, if you were to pull on the reel and stretch them out this big, they stay that big. Tape your reel to it, got a PC Fun ICX5 reel, Oh gosh, this is a jig by, made by Alex over Panfish Pirates. That's a four millimeter or a three millimeter tungsten head with a four millimeter hook on it. You can you can get custom stuff like that over at Alex Panfish Pirates if you really want to. And then what do we got here? I don't know because my thing's stuck in here. How did I manage that, you guys? Oh Lord. That is ridiculous. There we go. All right. So I think I think we're gonna start out with uh, right here. Look at these. This is called a sailor. That's made by Alex over Panfish Pirates. I'm gonna start out with this little tiny sailor on this hook. Hopefully we're, well if you've seen this video we're on some fish. I haven't even, I drilled, drilled some holes but I haven't done nothing else. But you can see, <clears throat> got the skeleton worms, sailors. This is the new ripper made by Alex over there. Um, I got more sailors. Uh, gosh, I got, I'm just showing you guys some of these colors. And, and these are glow, like the, uh, these here are glow. You put a UV light on those babies and they'll glow for like, I don't know, forever. Anyway, show you guys those quick. And now, I'm gonna start hole hopping until I find some fish. And obviously, if you're seeing this, we found some fish. Oh, dirty dog. There was a fish on bottom right there. It literally disappeared two seconds ago. There's a fish right there. There's a fish right there. Two fish. Got it. This feels like a crappie. I'm looking for like nine to ten inch, well, nine and over, I'll eat. 
Oh, there's a bunch of fish down there now. Oh yeah, look at that, you guys. There's a oh, there's a dandy. Look at that. Oh, there's now there's a bunch of fish. I just drilled ten holes around this hole. That's a perfect eating fish, you guys. That's probably right around 11 inches, maybe. We're going. We're going back. Now there's a bunch of fish. A bunch of fish down there. Gosh, they absolutely hammered that little jig. <laughs> Sorry for the sniffling. Yeah, they're down there. Come on. Mm. There's another one. That's another crappie. That one just came up and sucked that jig in. Here we go, baby. Here we go. There's another crappie, right? Oh, yeah. There's another crappie. Just a beautiful gold-colored fish. Gosh, look at those guys. That, that second one. He's not too big. He's borderline, though. If I get him any bigger than that, they got to go back in the water. Mmm. Now there's a bunch of fish congregated right there by bottom. We're in 22 feet right now. <clears throat> there we go. There's another one, another crappie. Slow. This one might be too big to keep. A lot of fish down there now, you guys. This one might be too big. This one might be too big, no? I don't know, he's about the same size as the other one, I think. Whoopsie, come on. Oh no, that's another good eater. Three, you guys can sit over there for a minute. This is ridiculous. There's another one. I got that sinker on there to add a little down pressure. <clears throat> it's really nice when you have this longer rod like this and you can see that bite much easier. <laughs> Why, what's going on here, dude? All right. Oh, there, there's a good, nice eater. I'm not super picky on the size. They just can't be too small or they can't be too big, you know. I always tell people, honestly, like 10, 10 to just about 11, 11 inches. 12 inches is too big to keep to me. Personally, does not mean you guys can't. There's another one. One's a little too small to keep. Just a little too small to keep. Duh, I got my cold snap right here. Smart guy that I am. There we go, little fella. Back down there. Come on, here it comes. There's another hit. Very subtle, the tip of that rod just dips. This school must have been just outside the cone. Here's a, here's a eater. It's an eater. That looks like a pretty good sized fish. Here they come. Man, they're just ripping up the water column to this bait. There it is. There it is again. Go. 
probably a ten and a half inch or maybe something like that. He's big enough to keep. He's big enough to keep. You guys, so <clears throat> where we're at in this lake, I just want to let you know there isn't. There's two holes behind me. That's it. Um, I don't know where the somebody was saying there was a hot bite out here. There's one fish house out here. And that's it. No holes from anybody else anytime in the last, I mean, weeks. So, I guess I'm the first. Here's another one. Seven fish. When I get to eight or nine, I'm gonna start releasing some of these so we can get some more footage. Jeez, you guys are thicker than snot down there. I mean. This is probably going to be one whole video right here. I'm getting a fish every drop within just a few. Oh, there we go. Guy's too small anyway. Within just a few seconds of getting down there. There you go. Get a little distance between my spit shot. That bait is getting annihilated, you guys. Look at that. That's all I'm using right there. That little soft plastic. That little three mil jig. I've noticed out here that <clears throat> these crappies like a smaller jig, but the way they're the way they're acting right now, I could probably upgrade to something with a long shank and a bigger bait. It is, look at that, you guys, it's a big old bluegill. Look at that, a big old bonus bluegill. It's probably close to a nine incher. Look at that, you're gonna come with me too. A couple more crappies, you guys. <clears throat> nice bonus bluegill, and we are gonna be out of here. Going to charge and catch ourselves a Christmas beaver. Bluegill. That's what it is. Another big bluegill. Oh. You know what? This is another decent sized bluegill, maybe. It'll be. It is. Oh, you guys, look at this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of that bluegill. That's a solid. I mean, that's got to be over 10. Look at that. That thing is a freaking donkey. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous how big that thing is. All right, you guys, I just wanted to get a quick picture of this guy. It's 30 some degrees though, so he didn't get hurt, but I'm gonna let him go. Gosh, that was a freaking giant bluegill. There we go. Whoa, got here. Let this be a bluegill. It no, it's gonna be a bass. This might be a bluegill. No. This could be a bluegill, you guys, the way it's fighting. I'm guessing it's a bass. There's no way it's a bluegill. It could be, but that's a bass. Right? Yep, it's a bass. The way it was digging at first, I thought donkey bluegill hooked them right by the tip of the snout. Little large, oh, large marge. <laughs> Those guys are fun to catch. Also, you get them mixed in there.
Got it. Crappie? It's gonna be a big old, another big old bluegill, you guys. It is. It's another nice bluegill. Gosh, you guys. Oh. These things are... <laughs> Look at those things. That's a, I mean, that's a 10-inch fish again. That is a 10-inch fish, you guys. Wow. Whoa. Sorry there, bud. Now I get you covered in snow. That's a 10-inch fish, though. I guarantee it. That's a 6-inch hole. 6-inch hole. Six. Yeah. All right, bud. Get out of here. There he is. He's gone. Two absolute donkey bluegills, you guys. Mixed in with our crappy harvest mission. That's a big bluegill on the left, and look at this one on the right, is way bigger. You know what, we're gonna let him go too. He's stuck across a six inch hole. <laughs> yeah, we're letting the, big, letting the big ones go. There's a fish. There's my crappie right there, you guys, whoops. There's my crappie right there I was looking for, I'll bet. Hide. Is that a crappie? Oh yeah, there's a crappie. Here we go. Here we go. My last eater fish right there. Oh, sweet. Well, I'm going to show you guys these fish quick and give you a quick rundown of what I did. All right, you guys. Give me the quick lowdown again on what I was all using today. Here is my booty for today. Got 10 crappies and kept two sunfish. And you, as you guys know, I don't keep a ton of fish, so don't want to hear any grief about it. But three of them are probably, I don't know, 11 and a half maybe. I don't know, they might be close to 12, I don't know. Other ones are probably 10 and a half. Bluegills are probably eight and a half, maybe close to nine. Gonna be some good eating tonight for me and the fam. Some quick, quick equipment check here. Got my Markham LX7 on the lithium shuttle. You can see there's a fish on the bottom right there, you guys. Oh, it's awesome. Got my Strike Master 6 inch light flight. And my 36 inch tune up custom rod precision noodle. This is four pound test on this PC Fun ICX5 reel. And then today I was using a sailor the whole time. These are actually, uh, these are actually glow in the dark. By the, by the by the way um you can go over to alex's page there there's this four millimeter or three millimeter jig with that hook go over to alex's page check out his page over panfish pirates he's got some awesome new soft plastics that are panfish slaying machines i'm gonna make sure and put his link below in the description of the video um i'm fishing roughly I don't know, you guys seen, I don't know, 19 to 23 feet maybe in the edge of this basin. I drilled, you guys don't know it, but I drilled probably, I don't know, 40 holes to get on these fish, maybe 50. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed, or enjoyed my Christmas harvest.